ladies and gentlemen, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Maher. Thank you very much. And let us be in our panel. He is the host of the Partisan Review on Colorado's uh, 1068, uh, what is that, 1080 AM, the publisher of the Partisan Magazine and the leader of the Tyranny Response Team, Bob Glass. Bob! <laughs> How are you, sir? Thank you for being here. A former seminary student and leader of Boogie Down Productions, his new album, and it is a good one, The Sneak Attack. He is a giant. KRS-One is here. Thank you. Her website is AishaTyler.com and she is the permanent host of Ease Talk Soup. Aisha Tyler is right over here. Hello, Hi. How are you doing? And she's an actress slash designing woman and her gender bending play, Glen Mary, Glen Rose. <laughs> Women do men. They do good. At UCLA's Royce Hall this Wednesday at 8. Jean Smart, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Okay. Obviously, uh, the subject today, Tim McVeigh. Uh, you all watched it? No, you didn't. We couldn't. I couldn't afford the pay-per-view. <laughs> no, it was, it was pay-per-view. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Uh, and the, ne the, the justification to that is closure. You know, that's what bothers me. I mean, I think that this guy, obviously, like everyone, most of us anyway, <laughs> thinks he should have died. Uh, I don't know why these families had to watch it. I, I, I think that uh, when they say closure, it's a lot of lying. It's not about closure, it is about vengeance. And they deserve vengeance, and they should have it. People in this country used to watch hangings. They used to get, take a picnic yeah. basket and watch them. Take I think they should have been able to have a bunch of buffalo wings and pump their fists in the air. And why pretend to be somber about okay, this? Okay, and, and this closure, this cycle babble about, oh, we need closure. No. He's a rat bastard who killed your family, and you should be able to go, yeah, go, die. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, in the old days, you know, sometimes the hanging, the person who was getting hanged, you know, wasn't, you know, they just kind of picked him up by the side of the road, like, hey, you look like a good for a hanging, and we made some chicken today, so let's do it. Yeah. I mean, nowadays, it should, we should, I mean, Why? if we respect life, then you we, should respect that the, 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 putting someone to death is a somber occasion. I mean, are you going to celebrate, like, okay, my people died, and so thus I'm going to dance over your It's a lie. You watch body. these families, you see them, they're bitter, they're angry, they should be bitter and angry, and I don't know why they have to be respectful and somber at a moment that should, doesn't deserve it. But don't you think some of them felt that way and some of them didn't? I mean, it was probably different for all of them. There were well, some then why of them did they want to watch it? But there were some of them that if didn't they really had closure, why did they need to watch? Well, Bill, I think you're well, right. Well, wait, well, let me well I mean, I think that they had the right to watch. I think, I, I'm, I'm, I would bet that almost every single one of them reacted to it differently than they thought they were going to, either in a positive or a negative way. I'm sure for some of them it was something they wish they hadn't done and I'm for sh sure for some of them it was very anticlimactic and was not very satisfying at all. But the word closure I'm sure is something they got mostly from the media. It was just a word to... No, they use. all said it. Closure. No, but I mean they, because they've all been... Well, they don't know what to eat. They don't even know what to call it. They don't know what to call it. They just want to see the bathroom go down. That's right? different. Closure is one thing. This was just for fun. You think it was closure is having him oh, closure yeah. is having him die. Watching him die is just for fun. Well, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that some of them didn't feel that way, or that they didn't have the right to feel that way. I think I think if somebody did something like that to a member of my family, I I wouldn't feel bad about watching him go either. Well, I'm right. not sure I would choose if they to do it. To watch so it. Why do if, we have to pretend it's closure? I don't know. I mean, one of the things is that they, they didn't even really get to watch him die. I mean, pay-per-view is not watching a guy die. Pay-per-view is like brought to you by Taco Bell, and then, you know, Richard Dawson comes out and goes, Welcome to the Running Man! You know, next Ted Kaczynski gets trampled down by dogs. Well, you know, right? But they were in the building, though. Well, it would you know, what, if, if it was me, and, and I don't even know if I b would want to watch somebody die in any situation, but if it was me, I would want to be looking that guy in the eye. And pay-per-view, you know, I might as well be watching, you know, I don't know, swordfish, if I want to see guys die in a good you know, way, you know. The, the thing is, the closure backfired because he looked them in the eye. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they couldn't look him in the eye. And they couldn't look him in the eye. And well, that's also, they put him to death in, in a way that most of us, I mean, it's not exactly, he didn't exactly suffer. I mean, we go to the dentist it, and he, get knocked out right. more painfully than he oh, got he knocked out. He didn't suffer, on and he looked uh, them right in the eye. And they're going to they're gonna be haunted by that for the rest of their I life, that he looked right in that camera with his glare. 
they got screwed because first of all, I know everybody felt like you know they wanted to have this justice kind of meted out quickly. But the fact of the matter is, the guy thought he was right, and he's a martyr now. You know what I mean? He to the to the death, he was like, I did it to you, I win. Yeah. I think he should have rotted on his butt in jail and thought about it while inmates, you know, uh, violated him in horrible and various yeah. ways. Yeah. Ten ways oh. to Sunday. Oh, okay. They died. Oh, oh, that you applaud. We can violate him for the rest right of his now, life. Yeah. But when I said they could that have chicken wings, that's too far. Bro. That's too far. No, no, no. That's but you I mean, know, he that's right. not right. He went to sleep. You know, it would have been nice to have the guy get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of the old one, two, one, two. I, I think, I, I think if you're serious about getting closure to this episode, if I were a friend or a relative of one of the victims of the Mara City bombing, I'd want to know all the people that were involved in this thing and that died along with Timothy McVeigh. No, it did. Yes, it did. Yeah. Yes, it did. And, and oh, you agree with that? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's... Oh, so that actually it, makes it, sense. There are militias and black people both believe in conspiracy. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold they on. Do. Hold on. Let, let me... Let me kumbaya, like let five me explain myself. <laughs> because first of all, I'm not a militia, and it's not conspiracy theory. You have extremely credible witnesses. I'm talking about the person that rented Tim McVeigh, the rider truck in Junction City, Kansas, who said that there was another person with McVeigh when he rented the truck. I'm talking about the person that ran the motel that Tim McVeigh was staying. I'm talking about the fellow that drove the catering truck that saw, ca truck that saw, okay. that saw so Tim McVeigh. Even if there was with. another loner who can't get laid, it's still <laughs> just another loner who can't we, we get laid. We don't know that, Bill. If you want to bring real closure to this thing, it's the responsibility of the government and all those people involved to get to the bottom of it. And that's what I would the want. The government would couldn't the remember where the files the were. Yeah. And that's the problem. And that's part What's of the it. Problem? That's the problem. That's it. Incompetence. That's yes. different Absolutely. than conspiracy. Different than conspiracy. No, no, actually, no, no. Actually, a government being incompetent is a conspiracy. You, you, you can't. I mean, conspiracy is is is. Go back to incompetence. If you have a government who is telling you we have the right to your life and your death, but I'm incompetent, then everybody's dying. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's yeah. a conspiracy. No, that is a conspiracy. Well, you know, it's not. You could, you could call your... it a conspiracy Wait of silence. I mean, oh, it, yeah. was it incompetence? Was it sinister? Was it like, you know, ooh? Yeah. Or, you know, I think it was You're... more like, all the files are here, but, ooh, I'm hungry. Do I get a hoagie? Do I do justice? No, no, no. I we're just going to withhold evidence. You're... We're going to manipulate the justice system. But he had admitted that he had done it. There wasn't any. You're... What was to hide? Well, first of all, he never admitted it in court. He admitted it in his book. And if we're playing by the rules of justice, then he wasn't given a fair trial, and I think that is a conspiracy. Wow. Well, that's, that's, the that's stretching the, the definition of conspiracy almost to incompetence. It it's not opposite. Intent. Not you are saying not that it's what? Intent. Yes, you are. You're right. What is the definition of conspiracy? Right. It's when two, more, two or more people conspire to commit an illegal act. Period. That is the definition of conspiracy. Okay, and if you that's admit, not what we're that talking whether it was about. Yeah. We're using the, or no. not was the second We're person. using that's a more Catholic definition here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Catholic. Catholic with a small C. Yeah. But what of but what of I don't mean the Pope was involved. <laughs> okay. yeah, but, what of, but what of Christian values in this? Well, what yeah, where is God in Are this? Are you against the death penalty? Yes. Yeah, so much. Where, where, where is God in this? Where is Christian values in this? Well, well yeah, the Bible says well, well, Christian values, no, no, no. isn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Christian yeah. theology says forgive. Turn the other cheek. Oh. Where was that? I don't know. That's not what the Christian coalition said. <laughs> I mean, generally, be... modern Christianity is like yeah. take them down and let them burn. Really? I think, the, the, I mean, John that's Ashcroft the theology is it's, the head but of it's the... the modern Christian theology. I mean, it's what well, most Christians. Well, in let this me ask you think. this: What do you what do you feel about people who say, "I would rather die than spend the rest of my life in prison. I choose to die." How do then, you feel about no, that? No, keep them alive. I it, 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 yes. it's punishment. No, why would you give them? Why, what why they would you free? We freed him. Freed. We released him. You should forgive. That you shouldn't punish. You should. Your intent should not be cruelty that you should be right. turning well, the other cheek. No, but that's different. So, I mean, putting someone to death and, and ha having someone s have the rest of their life to ponder what they've done, those are two different things. And I think that we, what we gave him was release. We gave him yeah. freedom, righteousness. We made him a martyr by killing he him now. He died so self-righteous. And all those people had to look in his eyes and have him say, I win, what I did was right, and, you know, and ha-ha, now I'm gone. And you never will, those people are all going to go home and they're going to wonder why they don't feel any better. And they don't feel any better because they didn't get what they well, wanted, which was an apology and an acceptance so and they didn't have wrong. the chicken wings. And if they, they had that they, there, it would have been better. They wanted honey wings. Have to take it but that would have been better.
Well, the deed was finally done. Timothy McVeigh executed uh, early this morning by lethal injection. The way he died uh, says a lot about who he was. Just a little prick. <laughs> Well, President Bush uh, left today on a five-country tour of Europe. First stop, Spain. Uh, Bush says he's more comfortable stopping in Spain first because he studied it there and he knows they speak Mexican. People. <laughs> KRS one was just asking me if I was for the death penalty, and I said, I am, but let's kill the right people. Yeah. That's my mind. I believe wow. that the governor of Illinois called for a moratorium. He says, we don't kill the right people. I agree. We, we have to get it right. Kill the right people. But we're never going to kill the right people. How do, what do you mean we're never going to kill the right In people? In a country of injustice, you're never going to get it right. Oh, come on. Tim McVeigh, there was, this guy didn't no. deserve to go? No. Well, I mean, Why? the underlying well, principle is, does well, anyone deserve to go? Are we a, a society that right. reveres government, life or not? Government is not God. And that's the issue. No, but man... And that is the issue. Should, does the state have the right to take human life? Period. I mean, do we want to subjugate who we let our do our murdering for us? If you're well, going to murder someone, that should be the function that of the... That should be your choice. No, not your choice. I mean, <laughs> right. if someone, if someone is, is, is raping or, or hurting someone that I love, I'll have no problem blowing them away. I have a big problem giving the power to the state to take oh, their so lives. Oh, so you should do you it know, yourself as opposed to the government. We oh, should yeah. leave it in the yeah. hands of... Whoa, whoa. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, I agree with that. You agree with that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got to because, be kidding. No, you because, have to be kidding. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I didn't, do you remember what no. happened to our people no. just no. two years no. ago? Let me say, say, no, 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 no. 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 Look let back. Say, let let me man, say let this. Let the man talk. First of all, he is not the state. Now, the state is supposed to be uh, our employee, supposed to be our, our servant, our... Well, our no, we're supposed to protect ourselves uh, under the Constitution. The state is supposed to uphold our right to protect Thank ourselves. Thank you. Now, Thank you. the idea here is, is the government wait. God or no, not? No, wait, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about your position sure. that you and you and you and everyone here should have the right to take that vengeance into their own so that would be a more effective well, way of running society. No, no, uh, what about oh, no, 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 I don't think he's talking about revenge. Oh. Wait a second. Everyone in this society is trustworthy to have that burden, that mantle upon their shoulders. You want everyone here to be okay with that? Is the government trustworthy? Right. I, was, I, was I think the government okay. has proven that it's not again, trustworthy. Cover, is the government fallible? Absolutely. But are there? Are there, have we tried to build a structure? Absolutely, absolutely. But have we tried to build a structure where there are, are checks and balances and exactly. a system in place? to protect I mean, the reason that OJ is free now is so that the system protects the innocent and I think everybody pretty much thinks the guy did it but we go look occasionally a guilty person goes free so that innocent people are not punished that is the way the system works we tried to build a system that fair is it fair no but it's uh, the do, best do you look at no, me and think she looks it's like the best the person possible no, 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 no. What, what you no. But you're saying we should go back to pre-civilization. No, what I'm saying know. is that's what the government does with the death, death penalty. It takes us out of democracy. No, let's go back to your we, idea sure, please. <laughs> that we all should be able to kill each other. No, 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 no,
by the people. This is that's what we're trying. By the people, but the government is the people. No, 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 no. That's no, 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 no. The, if no. the government was it's the people. It's just the people you don't like no, 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 because they're doing no, no, no. the bad, if dirty the work. Government was Do you think the these people. people who are not in the government no. would be any better? No, than no. if the it, government was the people, they would have voted on Timothy McVeigh's death. The government took absolute authority over the state to execute. Oh, no, you wouldn't vote on a death. Because the whole point that we don't vote on who goes to death and who doesn't is because that is mob rule. The justice system is supposed to remove but mob that's rule. Democracy. Well, yeah, it is democracy, but is it right? Because it, look, I'm, I'm, you're, you're, against, right the, you're not, against the death penalty, but the majority yeah. of people in this country would have voted that he died. No, we don't know that. We do oh, know we that. Do we know know that. know that. We know that. No, we don't. Oh, we don't yeah. know that. Okay, I'll take that. a little poll right here. How many people applaud? Do you think Tim McVeigh deserved the death penalty? <laughs> okay. And how many think he didn't? Well, that's a lot, but the first one did win. Deserve to die or should die? I don't think, I think he probably deserved to die. I don't think that we should be putting people to death. But I believe that the government removes that emotion, removes that anger, that vengeance from the process. No, the does Constitution it does. Well, the Constitution is what has built the government. We have not thought. Pass the sentence. Okay, I have to take a break and then we can. Join us this week on Politically Incorrect when Bill's guests will include singer-songwriter Lionel Richie, Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban, from Eden's Crush, Miley Misahan, and SNL veteran Kevin Nealon. <laughs> President Bush uh, finally admitted today that global warming is real, the planet is getting hotter and drier, uh, but he said we still need to research more before we act. Uh, <laughs> He, he did. He made the statement from the White House cactus garden, used to be the rose garden. <laughs> All right. Um, in the time we have left, I want to ask more about the uh, conspiracy. Bob, you think that he couldn't have acted alone. I know you said they may have been seen with other people, but what, my question is, why couldn't he have done this alone? He needed a truck manure. You know, it's not that hard to build a bomb of this type and then drive it in front of a building. Why couldn't he have okay. done it alone? The bottom line is, he could have done it alone, but there's a myriad of very credible evidence to suggest that he didn't. And I'm talking about the testimony of everyday, hard-working, regular American people, not anyone that had a particular political axe to grind, but extremely credible people that had nothing to gain from lying. I don't know who else was involved, and I don't know to what extent they were involved, but... We, we, have, we have hardcore evidence that other people were seen with Tim McVeigh, and none of this ever entered into the trial. And my point is that if so real So they're covering it up to what end? I don't understand what the government would... Just say nope. Janet Reno's ass, man. It started... <laughs> It, 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 it started right there at Waco, Texas. It really started earlier than that, but Waco, Texas is, is, is the biggest atrocity and, and screw up the FBI could have ever done. No one's talking about that. I'll talk about it. I'll tell you right now. Sure. David Koresh, like Tim McVeigh, like Randy Weaver, was a nut. He shouldn't be shot for Irrelevant. it. But when people Irrelevant. have arsenals, that is the kind of Irrelevant. rough stuff I would like my government to get involved in. A criminal oh, government people shouldn't have a criminal government. government. You think citizens should have a, arsenals? A, a criminal government should get involved in justice. The FBI has a history of criminal acts in itself. Of what? course it does. Yes. How can justice be dispensed? How you, can you ever have a perfect government? Describe to me a perfect government. The perfect government was in the Constitution. We got away from that. But that's uh, a yes, piece wait, of paper. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. The Constitution no, no, no. made us two thirds no, no. of a human being. No, 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 no. You can't, you no, can't no, work no, it back no. with an imperfect document no, that no. is an imperfect it was, document. I'm talking about the, the Constitution with the amendments as well. The Bill of Rights. Okay, so the Constitution, like 1977. Uh, the Bill of Rights may be <laughs> the Bill of Rights may be written on a piece of paper, but it embodies ideas of liberty. Yes. Of course. Yes. But but what it's you so guys bad, lack Bill. is the perspective to understand that ideas must be carried out by human beings who are fallible. No, ideas yeah. live in heaven. Con, we live on earth. So when what? people carry them out, they make right. mistakes so and mankind is forever struggled. So what Don't makes you think FBI what FBI? makes you think that when these infallible people form a government, the government suffers? Suddenly becomes perfect. It right. doesn't. Oh, it I just want. I just want the that. best system. Then eliminate the death penalty, and you'll have it. That's 
Well, but that wouldn't, well, the death penalty, penalty wouldn't have because, prevented Ruby Ridge, and the death penalty wouldn't, uh, eliminating the death penalty wouldn't but, have prevented Waco, but, but, Texas. But, yeah, but, but it would have prevent, taught, but it would have it taught it our children it. that revenge through violence is wrong. The I government agree, has taught our children today that compassion and forgiveness is not the ultimate virtue, violence is. Well, yeah. we also, Hollywood teaches them that as well. I'm well, not going to bring that on the government, you know, the movie that just grossed $80 million or whatever it is, that, you know, we're teaching kids every day that yeah. violence is the way. Stuff, yeah. And apparently this guy wants to go out and press his neighbor, you know, under stones until he is dead. What? So, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what that means, but I have to take a break. I'm sorry about it. Okay, KRS's record. Get it. It's a good one. Gene Smart told me you thought KRS One was your radio station, Bob. Tomorrow, Kevin Nealon, Tanya Roberts.